Hello, hello everybody. This is Moni with Flowers by the Bunch. So today we are going to do a wrist corsage. Um, wrist corsages are done a little differently than um, wired and taped corsages that are pinned on. We actually go ahead and use Oasis floral adhesive. We glue, we tie a bow, we glue it directly to a wristlet. So a wristlet has a metal um, it's just like a little disc that's attached to an elastic band. We glue our bow right in place, and then we glue the flowers um, into the bow. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. Okay, so I, we've already glued um, the bow into place on this wristlet. I'm gonna take, this is called Oasis Floral Adhesive Glue. I have taken a um, rose, a spray rose, and I'm gonna show you, I'm just gonna take one of these spray roses and clip it off of the stem. I'm gonna remove any of the um, petals that don't look pretty. Just go ahead and pull those right off. I'm gonna take my scissors, and I am going to cut that calyx just kind of so it's flat. You see how it's kind of got a little flat surface? Take my glue, add just a little touch of glue onto that rose. I'm gonna set it here and let it sit for just a second. I'm gonna take another rose. What I'm doing is it's kind of curing. So that glue, if it sits for just a second, it's going to get tacky um, and it'll stick better. So I'm just taking, and I'm gonna do five little rose buds. Find a few that might be a little smaller. Let's see. We're gonna start out with four. You see if four is enough, if I need five, we'll do five. So I've got my glue. So I'm gonna set this one here and I'm going to start with one that has set for a few minutes a few seconds. I'm just gonna place them right into that ribbon. So you can kind of see where I'm just nestling those little rosebuds right down into that ribbon. Now it takes a minute or two for it to, to cure. It is going to take five rosebuds. I like to work in odd numbers because they look better. So I'm gonna let that one sit just a second. It won't sit on its head like the others. All right, so you're just going to let them sit for just a second and they will, it will get tacky. Um, the glue's just, it just won't stick immediately. It takes just a few minutes. And if you see any, any petals that you're not pleased with, just go ahead and pop those right off those roses. It's not gonna hurt it. That one has a little spot, so I'm gonna take it and pop it out. Okay, so there are my roses. My roses are in place where I want the roses to be. Next, I'm gonna come in with a little bit of foliage. So this is a seeded eucalyptus. See all those pretty green seeds? And then I also have, this is called gun eye uke, or gunny uke, however you wanna pronounce it. So what I'm gonna do is, this eucalyptus has pretty nice little leaves, okay? They're a nice size, perfect for a corsage. I'm just taking a touch of that glue and I am just going to glue it right in place. Now, like I said, it takes a few minutes to cure, so you're not gonna really wanna mess with it much, but it will, it will get tacky and it'll stay in place. And while it's sitting right here on the, on the desk, it's not gonna, it's not gonna fall apart. So I'm just taking these little leaves and I am just filling it in as if I were making a, a regular flower arrangement. You're just making a flower arrangement to wear on your wrist, okay? So you can see I'm just kind of tucking that leaf in and just kind of nestle it in. And this is kind of all just in your judgment, how much or how little you want. Um, but you can see, you when we first started, it really seemed like that was a really large bow. Um, but now, you can see how my roses really cover up, cover up all that ribbon, and you can see the ribbon kind of underneath. Now, people make 
corsages differently. I think probably all all flower shops make make their corsages differently. This is how our flower shop makes them. So there's there probably are other ways to do this. This is just how we do it, okay? So I'm gonna take this seeded eucalyptus. I'm just gonna cut it into some small pieces and I am going to tuck some of these seeds over into this arrangement just because they're fun. So I'm just taking a touch of that glue, putting it right on the end of that stem and I'm just tucking it right into that arrangement. So you see it gives us a pretty texture and it doesn't take a whole lot of this, but I think it's pretty and it's really kind of a filler flower. Now, when we do homecoming, we don't do um, sparkle, lots of sparkle and all of that. Um, usually it's a little more casual. Okay, so there we go. There are our seeded uke um, and then the gun eye uke. I use those little leaves. Next, I'm gonna come in with just a touch of baby's breath. So this is called Million Star Baby's Breath. It's a smaller little bloom on the baby's breath. I'm just gonna take it and cut it into some tiny little pieces. All this is going to do is just add just a little touch of a filler. So I'm gonna take my glue and I'm just sticking that stem right down into that glue. I'm just gonna tuck this little guy over into this arrangement just to give it just a touch of a filler flower. You see how that has two separate um, pieces there? Take your scissors and then you have two pieces, okay? So it, you, it's tiny, right? It's just tiny little work. Add a touch of glue, tuck that little guy right over in there. And it doesn't take a lot of this glue. This glue goes a long way. I'm not left-handed and I'm trying to use that left hand. All right, and there is your little wrist corsage. Um, and these will be worn by the girls for the homecoming dance. Guys, thank you so much for being here with us today. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and go over there to Facebook and follow our page there. Um, we do videos every afternoon. Guys, I hope you have a wonderful day.